party. Hello, I'm gonna go over making your own perfume. And first off, I'm going to go over some safety. If you have asthma or you're allergic to fragrances, you should keep away from this little perfume lab. So, okay. So now I'm going to go over what you need. So you're going to need some little glass vials and I have these little tiny ones. If you can get tinted glass that's even better because it will let your fragrance last longer since the light won't get in to damage it. And if you can have like a little bit of a bigger one that would kind of be better for when we try to extract fragrance out of actual plant material. But this is what we have so this is what we're using. And you need a carrier oil. You can use jojoba oil, which is very good for your skin, or an almond oil. The carrier oil should not really have a fragrance. It doesn't take away from the essential oils that you're adding. And I also have some ethanol right here, which is it's vodka. But first we have our essential oils. You're going to need a top note a middle or also known as heart note and some base notes. The top notes will be your lightest fragrance. The molecules themselves will be the smallest so that's the first impression in the perfume. Then you will have the middle notes otherwise known as the heart notes which will be kind of the main character and the base note will be kind of what you get at the end and what you remember. That will be the largest molecule and it will reach your nose last. So the top note especially um, can you know cover up maybe an unpleasant smell that you get from a base note or middle note. You kind of get a whole fragrance, a whole new fragrance created by mixing these together and you can even cover maybe an initial bad smell with a good top note. So that's kind of the artistic touch from making perfume. And you're also going to need um, little droppers. It's best not to mix the fragrances from their original containers, so you don't want to be dunking some of this vanilla into the cinnamon. And some of these essential oils will already actually have little droppers built in, so that kind of makes your life easier if you have some like that. And anyways, let's begin. Okay, so first off, let's try and make a perfume just with essential oils that are already prepared. Alright, so first off, let's add some carrier oil. And I'm going to try and do maybe a fourth full. I don't want to put too much carrier oil in, but I'm going to try and say maybe one part carrier oil, two parts ethanol. And what we're doing here is adding a carrier oil because the essential oils can dissolve into it really well, so it acts as kind of the solvent. But then also, this oil is a lot better for your skin, so the vodka and the essential oils can be kind of harsh on your skin. So this makes it not so rough on you when you apply it to your skin. Don't want to be irritated. And then... I'm going to add two parts of the ethanol, and I don't want it to be too full because the lid will go on, we don't want it to spill, no need to make a mess. So now that I've done that, I'll explain the ethanol. So the ethanol will actually evaporate a lot faster than the oil would. So generally when you have perfume, you want the ethanol to help the ev fragrance evaporate so it can travel, it can kind of waft around. So if you just had a fragrance oil, it would last longer, but you wouldn't really smell it unless you got really close. So it's kind of nice to have both, so it kind of keeps the fragrance around and um, lets the smell also travel. So you get a little bit of both, and again, the carrier oil will also make this less irritating on your skin. So now that I've done that, we need to add some essential oils. So we're going to add um, 
first things first, the ratio is generally two top notes um, to five middle notes to three bass notes. So, for example, if I had ten drops total, I would do two top notes, five middle notes, and three drops of the bass notes. So, with this, I'm going to add two drops of orange. So that's about two. And then this cinnamon oil right here is my middle note, so I'm going to try and add five of it. However, if one oil is very strong in scent, then you might want to dial it down. So, you know what, I'm actually only going to do three because this cinnamon is very strong. And then I'm going to add about three drops of this vanilla extract or essence. If you use vanilla extract, make sure you use real vanilla without any fillers. So, one, two, three. And then going to cap this just gonna make it a little shake so it's all mixed just try and mix this a lot and it's well mixed and you should also let this age it will help this fragrances mix together better but you could just always smell it now too to see how it is you can open it and it smells good, you can dab it on your skin and you will hopefully not break out into hives. And that's how you make a fragrance with essential oils. Okay, so another way to make a perfume is to use actual solid plant matter and extract the fragrance from it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ethanol and carrier oil solvent again. So I am going to add a little bit of this oil. And I'm gonna do about like a third to a fourth full of the carrier oil, which is jojoba oil. Then I'm going to add about two parts ethanol to my one part carrier oil. And you could also just use ethanol or only use the carrier oil, but keep in mind that mixing the carrier oil with the ethanol makes the whole substance less harsh and irritating on your skin. So, now that I have this, I'm just going to drop some of this dried plant material in here and, you know, you could also add something else like, I don't know, a different type of flower, pine needle, some sort of spice, and I'm making a mess. So, maybe put a plate underneath so that you can clean up easier. Um, anyways, I'm going to lid this, and then you can put this away in the dark to age for, I'd say, at least a week. And the fragrance oils that are within this plant are going to dissolve in the oil and ethanol. And then later you can go and maybe get a coffee filter and get that plant material out, because you just want the solvent and then you'll have your fragrance.